okay, this is a short video of the new browser Kylo. So we're looking at my TV screen and I'm gonna launch the browser right here. So the browser is des designed to be viewed on a TV. So you get a nice big pointer. This is the home screen with lots of links to um, various video sites. You could change this just like a, any browser. It's a Mozilla-based browser. So hovering over these gives you um, some details about those different sites. First thing I'm going to do is um, set this up for my screen because it's not quite reaching the edge of the screen. And then to the top and left. bottom and accept these and that takes us back to the home screen so it's a little easier to see um, so we can go to any of these sites let's go to CVS for example and it'll come up with the screen So we can browse around in here, see what it has. We can also go to any uh, any site we want just by typing in the, the address right here. I'm going to go to um, Bing Video. Oops. So that bring, brings up Bing's site with all their videos. So if we want to watch one, we can. The only slight drag I've seen so far with this is that um, you want you can make one of these videos uh, full screen, but the little icon for choosing that isn't as um, isn't as user friendly from far away because that's so small. But here we're seeing this full screen. Pressing escape takes us back. And uh, we can go to any other site. We can go to any even non uh, video sites like. Um, uh, let's see. Wikipedia. So here we are just on regular um, Wikipedia site. Now this button here is like tabs. So if I click this, it shows this. So we can go open a new page. It's like opening a new tab in your browser. And you'll see this is the history. So we can go back to Bing vid video here. Again, clicking this, we can go to Wikipedia. We can also close it if we don't want to use that one anymore. Another useful thing, if you go back to the settings, you can change your home page. And um, the content tab is useful because you can change the minimum text size. So I like to use medium. And closing this, now when I go to a page, the text should be um, a little bigger. Makes it a little bit easier to read on a, on a uh, full screen. Try and go back to Wikipedia and see if it looks any better. It's a little bigger. You have to sort of play with that to see um, what, which sites look how the sites look on your screen you can also use this button here to uh, zoom so if I click plus things get a little bigger and then 
you can scroll around the screen. So if you're sitting back on your couch, it makes it a little easier to see. Now, you can click this again and hit reset. And that sets it back to normal. So you can minimize, exit, you can see all your downloads. You can use it just like a regular browser. If I click the home uh, screen, it takes me back to that page we initially saw with all the icons for the various video sites. very smooth, looks really nice on the screen. Uh, and they have these, that was the all screen, also there's various um, subcategories. Now I'm, I'm controlling this all with a um, uh, with uh, my keyboard that has a uh, scroll wheel and a uh, trackball. See if this works. So this is the keyboard I use. So it doesn't really work with your um, universal remote. You do have to have a mouse. Um, but it makes browsing from the 10 foot uh, UI much better. So that was a quick overview on Kylo.